Yo, 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 welcome back, world. And you're not trucking with OTI Dump. Let's hit the gas and go. Truck life. Man, they got me f***ed up. They think I'm about to sit in all this goddamn traffic. Out of here. That's what I'm calling. Straight clout truck. Damn. Oh, yeah. Don't ask how we hide. No, nigga. Yeah, so another thing that us truckers go through, the mental awareness and loneliness we deal with out here on the road. We got to pay attention to everything. Everything driving. Your mirrors, your side of your trailers, the front of your truck, the side of your truck. Everything we have to pay attention to. So our mind is racing all day, every day we on this truck. So if you're working 14 hour days, you running it up 70 hours in eight days, man, your brain is overworked. When you get off this truck, you should be going home to peace. One thing I feel like a truck driver's partner should focus on is being your partner's peace. You should be your partner's scapegoat. We go through enough stress on this truck every day. So when I get home, I don't wanna hear all that. Even before I go to work, I don't want to hear all that. So who wants to deal with stress at work and at home? Stress kills. I'm going to protect my peace by all means. And you should take some mental days at work. Some days you just need a break from the truck, man. Straight up. To sit up here and drive uh, all these hours every day. To be away from your loved ones every day. This road, you gotta wanna conquer this every day. Everybody can't be a truck driver. You gotta wanna live this truck life. It's a lot of people that go through depression out here on the road. You're by yourself, you're lonely, you end up being depressed. Find you a road buddy, find you someone to talk to while you are uh, out here working. Maybe they at work the same time you at work. And that's how y'all talk throughout y'all day and, and make them hours fly. Another trucking tip, route planning. I see so many trucks going down the wrong roads, getting stuck under bite ox, and that's because they don't do proper route planning. Don't just get out here and drive, whether it's rookies or whether it's veterans. I see too many mistakes out here from truck drivers. Too many. And I know they can be prevented if you do proper route planning doing your due diligence to know where you're headed. Let me ask y'all, have you ever been sick on the road before you head out or you would stop at the truck stop and get some truck stop food, get about 50 miles down the road, an hour later, you got them bubble guts, them BGs kick in. Now you got to pull over, stop at another truck stop, clock still running, not about to make your delivery or pick up on time because you in the pilot shower bathroom with the rugs. Have you ever had a breakdown in bad weather before? The life of a truck, you know. Look at this. All four, y'all. All four. And I decided to be a truck driver. So nobody want to have a breakdown, let alone in bad weather. One thing as a driver you shouldn't do, don't commit yourself to loads and call off after that. So once you call off after confirming that load, you hear a liable. Meaning you could get your ass fired. There's specific reasons on how you could go about this. And it has to be emergency. It has to be sickness or uh, something faulty with the truck equipment. If, you know, your dispatcher is coercing you to drive over hours, anything of that nature, that's when you can call out about the confirming alone. Made it, safe trip back from Iowa. I drop this load and I'm out of here. I'm gonna park it, drop it, it's over with. I got enough time on my clock. Off duty. 
signing out.